Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today we're going to talk about blocks and resistance. They're the same thing, by the way. So in this video, I'm just going to refer to them both as resistance. Now, why do we want to find out what having resistance means? Like, what does it mean to be resistant to something? Well, the reason why we want to learn what resistance mean is so we can find out where we have resistance in our lives and change that. And it really is a thing because the resistance is different for everybody. Sure, there are some things that may be the same for some people. However, resistance can come in all different shapes, sizes, and forms and be something different for everybody. And that's okay. So let's get down into it. What is resistance? Resistance is any thought that is contrary to what you want. So let's say I want to be a billionaire. And then I think... There's not enough money in the world. You have to work hard for money. I have a job where I only make so much an hour and I only have so many times in a day. Those last three things I just said was resistance. They're contrary to me being a billionaire. Those things make, I think that I can't have it because of those things. That's resistance. It's so easy to pick out resistance in a block. When somebody says to me, okay, I want this, but there's this, 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 this. And then they're like, and then they're like, where am I blocked, Amanda? And I say, well, you're blocked here, 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 here. Everything after the butt <laughs> was resistance. <laughs> it was a block. How do you change that? You just change those intentions, change them into intentions. Ask yourself if they're really true. So I want to be a billionaire, but I have to work hard and money doesn't grow on trees. Oh, well, does money grow on trees? Well, it sort of is paper and it's just energy. It comes from everywhere. Oh, okay. So money comes freely and easily. Now it's just taking care of that little bit of resistance. You need to work hard for money. Well, well, you know, I don't know if you're like me, but I mean, I'll honestly say that I don't work hard and I'll never, I'll be my own worst critic and say that I never actually work hard enough. So I'll always be constantly criticizing myself. I'm not a billionaire because I'm not working hard enough. Well, if I look at other people that have become billionaires, do they work hard? Absolutely not. So do you have to work hard to be a billionaire? No. Money comes easily and effortlessly. It's just energy. It's nothing different than manifesting getting married or manifesting your dream job or manifesting some awesome black chairs or whatever else you have manifested in your life. So yeah, so if you want to find out what's blocking you and you just can't quite put your finger on it, write it out. Or when you listen to yourself, when you talk to somebody, what are you saying about what you want? Okay, I want to get married, but I can't find the right guy. Where's the block in that sentence? There is no right guy for me. Okay, well, I intend to get married and I intend to find the right guy. It's about busting through those bits of everything that's contrary to what you actually want. And once you bust through those and you have less resistance, zero resistance, and you have to against what you want, you're going to get what you want. So you want to create more thoughts towards what you want and being able to have what you want than resistance. So for instance, I mean, if you are looking to manifest money, first of all, look at it that it's just energy and that your current bank account doesn't reflect uh, your what you know what's possible for money. Don't identify what's in your bank account currently. And not only make intentions to get the money, make intentions of what you're going to buy with the money. So the more intentions that you have supporting having that money, then the resistance and not believing you can have it or not believing you're good enough is also resistance. Once you bust through all of that and all you've got is your intentions on what you want, it's going to come to you. Anyways, yeah, so this is a video that just shows you what resistance and blocks are so you can bust through your own. Everyone's got different resistance and blocks to things. And yeah, happy busting through your resistance and blocks. You can do it. You can be anything that you want to be. Anyways, yes, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all of them designed to help you create your perfect life. Have a great week. And you know what? Create something wonderful for yourself. You deserve it.